Peru is a beautiful country with rich history and deep cultural roots, but it's also home to one of the most biodiverse ecosystems in the world, the Amazon rainforest. Thousands of different types of tropical fish live in the waters here. We set out on a journey with one mission, to understand more about our aquariums and fish at home. The jungle is a rather unforgiving place. Treacherous waters, blazing temperatures, and endless hiking make this journey a difficult one. But we're determined to find what we came for. Catching fish is no simple task either. The fish in the rivers here hide under rocks and among the vegetation. Combined with swift moving water, it often takes multiple people to catch just a few fish for observation. Each species is carefully observed and recorded. We were lucky to find some Corydoras weitzmanii in their natural habitat. These are fairly rare in the rest of the world. Although we aren't looking for anything in particular, we came across quite a few hidden gems along the way. These green and gold Plecostomus are young and show intense, almost iridescent colors. They live in the fast-moving current where oxygen is abundant. Teamwork is essential when it comes to collecting wild fish. Gently overturning large stones upstream will allow any fish underneath to be guided into our carefully placed nets. We were able to capture quite a few different types of fish using this technique. A more mature green and gold pleco made its way into our net. When these fish are young, they have vibrant gold coloration. As they age, they begin to take on a darker, duller color. And they're small, they look amazing. This individual was the largest one we collected and had huge suckers to keep hold in the fast flowing water. We were able to measure him at almost six inches long. Another juvenile pleco shows off its unique patterns and colors under the natural light. Wow, Yeah, look how gold that is. Whoa, look at that. that we gotta take this. Is, That's this what is I'm like, saying. Yeah, what? Yeah. Look at this guy. This is how, how gold, gold and is. green he is. Yeah. In addition to the stunning plecos, we also saw a few other types of fish and invertebrates. Geophagus cichlids, tetras, wolf fish, crayfish, and freshwater snails were among our collected species. I actually found a wow. water snail in the wild. And it's alive. Looks like a and it's alive. Overall, we learned a lot about the natural environment where some of our aquarium fish are from and how we can mimic certain aspects in a home aquarium. Warm water temperatures in the upper 70s, lots of oxygen, rocky gravel substrate, and plenty of plants and places to hide allow these Peruvian fish to thrive. Do you wish you could keep any of the fish we saw in the wild? Leave a comment below which was your favorite.